Good day and welcome to Ear Deals. We are excited today to introduce to you a new series where we will be covering various supporting applications from some of the top hearing aid brands. In this video, we will be covering the multi-mic accessory from GN Resound. Before we get started, please remember to click like, share and subscribe down below and remember to click the bell icon to stay updated on the latest videos from Eardeals. The Resound Multi-Mic is a powerful microphone accessory that can be used to stream audio directly into your hearing aids. It can be used for one-to-one -one conversations when worn by another on their shirt or lapel and has the ability to minimize background noise so you may focus on the conversation with greater clarity. If you are in a group environment, you can place the mic on a table to pick up on multiple speakers. The accessory can also function as a third-party supporting device to pick up on telecoil or PA systems in respected venues. These venues can consist of public libraries, museums or art galleries, or even movie theatres to name a few examples. Additionally, the multi-mic can also be used as an adapter for streaming audio from your phone, your tablet, or your computer by using a mini jack cable provided with the accessory. Continuing on, through the use of an optional FM receiver attachment, the accessory can connect and stream audio from FM systems into your hearing aids, similar to the telecoil function. To close out this section, as a final feature, if you are to accidentally drop the accessory from a certain height of roughly 75 centimeters, the accessory features a height detection mode, where, through the use of a built-in sensor, the multi-mic is capable of muting itself should it be dropped from that distance, stopping any loud, sudden noises from being streamed into your devices. With that said, these features alone make the multi-mic a highly flexible accessory for streaming in various scenarios, and can provide you with that extra support you need without needing to mess with any additional functions on your hearing aids. To begin using the multi-mic with your devices, the accessory must be properly charged. This can be easily achieved by plugging the power cable into a power outlet. When charging, it can take up to 3 hours to fully charge the accessory. To activate the multi-mic, all you need to do is simply press the button at the top. The accessory, now activated, will flash green every 2 seconds until being turned off returning to a solid red light. If the battery for the multi-mic is running low, the LED light at the top will flash orange once every second until charged. To pair your hearing aids to the multi-mic, on the back is a small button to wirelessly pair your devices. Using a pen tip or a small pin, press on the button. Upon doing this, you will notice the LED light at the top will now flash orange, indicating it is ready to be paired in channel 1. You will then need to ensure your devices are activated. Once successful, you will hear a short musical melody in your devices, signifying your devices are successfully paired, ready to use with the accessory. As a final note, if you are using multiple hearing aids or other streaming accessories with the multi-mic, if you press the pairing button, two or three times, you will be able to switch between different audio channels, making the use of multiple devices tolerable. To begin streaming with the multi-mic, using the clip on the back, the speaker must clip the mic to their lapel or collar vertically, roughly 10 to 40 centimeters from their mouth. When using the accessory as a table mic, the mic must be placed horizontally on a table or solid surface in close proximity to those speaking. 
The reason for this is when the accessory is turned horizontally, the mic will automatically adjust its settings to streaming from a single source to multiple. For making adjustments to suit your listening experience, on the back is a large button that will grant you the ability to easily switch between one of the four modes available. Pressing on the button, a small light will appear beside one of the icons displaying your desired mode. You can also check the battery levels by pressing and holding the mode button down until the LED light at the top flashes to indicate the levels. To adjust the volume levels of audio being streamed, on the side of the accessory are three buttons. You have a plus button and a minus button to increase and decrease volume, with the button in the center allowing you to mute or unmute the volume. If you require at all to lock the volume at a certain level, you can do this by turning off the mic and then pressing and holding the power button and minus button until the LED light at the top shines in a sequence of green, orange, and red. Following this, the light will blink every two seconds, indicating it is now locked. To unlock the mic, simply repeat the same process. This time, however, press and hold the plus button and power button as demonstrated. To close off this video, if you wish to inquire at all about what hearing aids available from GN Resound are compatible devices with the Resound Multimic, as of early 2022, devices on the Resound One range, Resound Key, Lynx Quattro, and devices on the Enzo range are all compatible options that can be easily paired using the means discussed in this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to find out more about ear deals, check out our website linked in the description below. Or if you'd like to view some more of our content and keep updated on what's next in our phone app series, please feel free to like, share and subscribe and comment below.